a hand-sized specimen from the Kalahari, uh, from the Okarusa mine in, in Namibia. Uh, of course, a mine very famous for lovely fluorites. In this case, yes, there is color zoning, a little bit of a darker green and a lighter green intermingled. Uh, quality of the specimen is pretty good, crystallization pretty good. A little bit of internal fracturing uh, often happens with the fluorite with changes in temperature or whatever. Uh, from a display point of view, so lying flat, this is above a hand size. So it's a pretty, pretty large piece, pretty heavy piece too. Um, but a lovely example, a nice chunky example of the Okarusa fluorite crystals. Sitting on top of these would be some, the, the, the brownish material would be some hematite or girthite. Uh, quite a lot of, often these guys were coated with some iron oxides, um, also with druzy quartz. I don't see any quartz on this particular one. So the main crystallization, the main crystal is here. This this edge, I just want to see if I can get the reflection away, show you with more clarity. This is actually an angulated edge, but it's stepped up with, with tiny, tiny um fluorite crystals. There you can see. So it's not a it's not a cleaved edge, it's actually a crystalline edge, which is quite abstract. So on the edge of the cube we have almost a pyramidal effect. From the Okarusa mine Namibia, pretty heavy piece. This is good exercise doing this. Uh, not perfect, but uh, pretty, pretty good condition. Let's have a look at the quality. A um, little bit of a nick on that edge. Mine is scratching there. But furthermore, lovely example of your Okarusa fluorite. I actually struggle to get hold of this material these days. This must come from my old stock in, the, in my, what I call the cave, my little storeroom.